Race three is the Winter Novices Hurdle, and we've shot across the country to Sandown for this one. It's, it's two miles, four and a half furlongs. It's a grade two. Uh, at the top we've got Emotional for Joshua Sutherland, Mini Fortune, Timely on Van Rensburg, Punto Sand, Darren Thompson, Southern Optimist, Craig Beckwith, Substitute, David Robertson, Theoretically Speaking, Joshua Sutherland, Foxtail, Alex Cherry, Movie Lights, David Hooley, Petroglyph Raven for Padre Hogan, and Seven Bridges Road for Marty Lynn. And they're already racing and heading towards the first of the flights in this two and a half mile hurdle. And Emotional. Probably just the leader as they get over the first, which they all take nicely. The most are theoretically speaking. Disputing the lead, the two Joshua Sutherland horses. And it's emotional who's been driven to take over that lead now. On his own, as they head down towards the second of the ten. And emotional will take off and land in the lead. On the inside, Seven Bridges Road has now moved through to challenge. Then theoretically speaking, lost its unbeaten record last week. Hoping to bounce back. And substitute instead of an optimist. And give Craig Beckwith a three timer on the day. I've already landed a grade one and then the follow up. Handicap at Newcastle. Well, it's emotional who's clearing the lead by about four lengths or so. To stable mate, theoretically speaking, on the outside of Seven Bridges Road. And then a mini fortune time after that one. And there's a line of about six of them. With Petroglyph Raven just a back marker as they get over the third. And the leader is well clear. Of Seven Bridges Road in second, and theoretically speaking, in third, the purple jacket of Movie Lights has moved through into fourth. Southern Optimist is on the inside rail. With the dark blue of Mini Fortune time next as they get over the fourth. And now begin the uphill climb to the winning post, but they've got another complete circuit of the sand down track to go and the emotional is now leading by a good six lengths or so to movie lights on the outside has moved through into second then theoretically speaking punto sand has also made a forward move substitute as well wide on the outside as seven bridges road just drops back into the pack passed by all of them in fact except petroglyph raven but it's emotional who's leading by five to movie lights in second Theoretically speaking, on the first three weeks of the season, but then so, turned over last week. Only finished third. We're going to bounce back. Oh, Joshua Sutherland, Petroglyph Raven is now moving through nicely. And Seven Bridges Road has dropped right to the back. But it's emotional who's the leader. My good four lengths to movie lights in second. Theoretically speaking, his third and Southern Optimist is fourth. Then comes Substitute and Punto Sand together with Petroglyph Raven just behind them. Mini Fortune time on the outside. And then Seven Bridges Road has now gone past Foxtail and relegated that one to the back as they take the fifth. A midway point in the jumping, but less than a mile still to go. They get over the sixth and they're all over the sixth. Okay, and it's a Sutherland 1 2 now. As emotional continues to lead, but theoretically speaking, looks hard held at the moment and looks to have plenty of horse underneath in that jockey as they get over the seventh just three more to take then now and they're starting to shuffle themselves into position for challenging and emotional is the one that's heading them at the moment been in the lead pretty much all the way and still leads by two lengths to theoretically speaking is over it in second Petroglyph Raven landed in third then Movie Light Seven Bridges Road is now coming back into it again as well then Mini Fortune Time after that one Substitute is trying to come around the outside Foxtail's the only one who appears to be out of it but it's Emotional who's still got a lead of a couple of lengths there's four in line ready to challenge Seven Bridges Road just poking its head into second now Punto Sound comes through to make a challenge as well but it's still Emotional who's clear with just two to take and three furlongs to race. Emotional is still three clear of Punto Sound in second. Movie Lights is in third. Then Seven Bridges Road is four. Theoretically speaking, has got work to do on the outside. Mini Fortune Time and Petroglyph Raven are trying to run on over the second last they go. And Emotional is still clear. Emotional still clear by four from Punto Sound and Movie Lights. It doesn't look like they're going to get to this emotional at the moment. They're racing towards the final flight. And Emotional is still three clear. Movie Lights is trying to move through into second, but it's still Emotional over the final flight. 
right and gets over it nicely, gets away from it well and races up the hill with half a furlong to go. Movie Lights is chasing in second, Ponto Sand is third, but they're not going to get to this leader. And Emotional is going to hang on and take it. Emotional wins it from Movie Lights, second, then Mini Fortune Sound, and then Petroglyph Raven, Ponto Sound was after that. And all the way back to Foxtail, who was the last one to finish. And Emotional takes it. Oh, Joshua Sutherland, that's his first winner of the week. I'm sure it won't be his last. Movie Lights is second for David Hurley. Mini Fortune time for Leon van Rensburg was third. Punto Sand, Darren Thompson was fourth. And Petroglyph Raven for Padraig Hogan was fifth. <laughs>